six hours and 10 minutes later, we are finally at Woodward. The fact that I'm able to come here as a visiting pro now is still insane to me, and I'm so glad that I'm able to do that. Well, today I am riding again. I've been waiting for this day for a while because of the whole COVID situation. Woodward wasn't allowing people to come and go. So the fact that we're finally able to come here, we are going to take this to our full advantage. We're gonna film as many videos as possible for you guys. And the first video that we're starting off with is a video that's going to lead towards my backflip goal. That is my goal since I broke my neck. I think I could pull it off because it's all about technique. It's all about using your weight the right way. And I know how to do it. I just gotta get my body strong enough to get there. So I'm gonna be working out. I'm going to get stronger and stronger. And when the time is right, I'm going to attempt this backflip. But today is another step in the right direction. I'm gonna jump into the foam pit for the first time. And I am actually terrified about it. I know a foam pit sounds like a piece of cake, right? There's no issues with it. Well, we had a skate park. My family did for years. And a lot of people got hurt in the foam pit because you think you could just land however you want. But the truth is, if you're not smart about it, you could land on your bike and you can get in some trouble. So I am nervous. There is a lot of nerves about this, but I'm so excited about this. I think I'm ready to do it. So I'm going to go inside right now into the skate park where Corey, Maddie, Dom, and BK are in there. And we're going to get this going, guys. This is my first time in the foam pit. A step forward towards the backflip goal. Let's get this going. So here we are in the legendary Lot 8. This place has evolved so much over the years. And where it is right now is perfect almost. I mean, you have this awesome box jump to learn stuff on. You have so much stuff to ride over in that area, but you also have the foam pit. And this has always been one of my favorite foam pits. And the reason why is because the lip is almost perfect. It's not too steep. And the rolling for it is right up my alley. You guys know I can't really pedal too well right now, but I could definitely go down a big roll. And, and this one right here, Mount Everest is what they call it, is the biggest rolling that I've ever seen for a foam pit. So my goal for today is to be able to go down this rolling and do a nice solid jump into the foam pit with control. Now the thing about this is I don't know how my body's gonna react with that much speed, that much force. My body is like always tensed up, it's always tightened, so I cannot make quick moves like that. So this is all trial and error, and at least the error is a foam pit, so it's better than it would be trying to go over that resi. I'm gonna have Corey do an example of a jump in there. I'm gonna try to get Corey not to do anything at all. No pumping, no hitting the brakes, and I wanna see how this jump throws him. So you can't pull up, you can't jump high. I know it sounds like not a lot of fun at all. This never works out the first time for me. Please, just do your best to just not do anything, okay? <laughs> just just don't be Corey and just be just real. Do your best yeah. and do nothing. Do nothing. We're gonna see exactly how far he goes and we'll base my jump off of that. So don't hold the brakes at all. Yeah, don't pump the lip. Oh God. Oh! Don't do that. Gee, that was the worst. That didn't give me any confidence. I did nothing. I Let's did watch how said. bad. Let's watch how bad Corey does in this one. I Let's did exactly what you said. Look at this, dude. If this happens to me, I'm gonna be screwed. <laughs> Corey got fired, yeah. yeah he, <laughs> he doesn't know what he's doing. That's not Matt, a not I a good it. example not for this. I get it, Matt. All right. I got you. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do, right? Thank you, Dom. And it's gonna work Make out perfect. Proud, perfect. All the way from the top, me. okay? All the way from the top. All the way from the top. Oh, yeah. That went pretty far, dude. If I jump that far, dude, I will be hyped. I'm telling you, you're gonna get some air and height. I hope you're right. You can't really pull back a lot. But not too much. Yeah. I'm gonna go check it out. I wanna see what it looks like from the top. I wanna see what to expect. Try to get mentally prepared for this. Cause BMX, as much as it is physical, it's very mental as well. I remember being right here, like being right in this skate park as a camper when I was 15 years old. So it would be the summer of 2002. I couldn't even do flip whips then. And like just thinking about six months after that, I entered my first pro contest. And that is nuts, man. And here we are all these years later and I'm about to try to do another new trick. Even though it's something that I could do in my sleep at one point, but now it's different. I know there's people out there that think that their goals don't matter because you know other people's goals are so much bigger, so much better than theirs, but they're your goals and that's the important thing. So. Ugh, did I didn't even do any calisthenics or stretching or anything. Should, dude, you haven't done anything. You've been working Hello, out and not stretching at all. Just jump into a foam pit right now. It seems easy, I but I feel like we should do something. I just want to be in control. I just want to be in control. I'm just going to go and just try to act like I know what I'm doing. I don't want to get loose. I don't want to flip the handlebars. I don't want to ha throw my feet off and land on my nuts or anything like that. Hey, protect them at all costs, all right? We got this, we got this. You got this. All right, let's do it. All right, first attempt. Don't think, just act. You got it. Right? You got it. I'm scared. Yeah! <laughs> do it again! That was fun! Run it back! Yeah. Yeah. Do it again! That was awesome! I'm gonna try to get out my own. Just so you know, you did pretty much the same thing I did. 
<laughs> All right. So, I did. Yeah, you're welcome. I yeah, I pretty much did what Corey did, but I just I pulled it. You feel it? Stayed on your back. I was on my feet. Stayed on. Uh, but yeah, that was a good first one. Now my goal is to pitch forward a little bit and try to land in control. So, uh, I like how we're having this interview while I'm just laying here. In the say, how long do you want to stay here exactly? Interview, right? uh, I just I miss being in a foam pit. I haven't been in a foam pit in such a long time. Like it's not like I lived in the foam pit, but like wait till later at dinner when you're like, <coughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, no, don't miss yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty cool. I'm excited. I was flying and that felt awesome and I want to do it again. Let's go. You. How did it feel coming off the bank and everything? I was like just. You didn't look like it faced you. Just give me. Yeah. Going yeah. to the dude, you're in the most fucking... awkward position yeah. ever. Like, what, me? I know. Yeah, dude, you I know. Just, know. nobody could get out of the position die, you're dude. in. There's no way. Yeah, if you guys could just pull, pull. Here, John, See if you could grab right, a... Ready? Hold on, Scott. Teamwork. <laughs> Camp is filming? <Are> <laughs> yeah. You filming? Hold on, let us use what our hand. Yeah. You guys are pulling the shoulder out. Not tough, go ahead. Not too hard. Not too hard. Cut, relax. Oh I lost my shoe. It wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a foam pit trip without losing your shoe, right? right? right there. Now we can just lift him up. Yeah, where's your cell phone, Scott? <laughs> It's in my uh, jacket. All right, All right yeah. cool. Oh, no, cool. I have a cell phone. Look at my brand new sweatshirt. I've already got the blue stuff on me. Hey, you missed it, though. Enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, it, it's all worth it. It really is. Sweatshirt's right. ruined, socks we'll ruined. Real quick. Ready? All right, yeah, I'm ready. Scotty, grab your shoes in the pump and come get it out Woodward next summer. Woo! Cool, thanks. <laughs> you got you. All right, chuck the shoe, please. Yes, dude, that was good. That was fun. That was perfect, perfect. dude. It was a good starter. Oh, yeah. Good way to get and you held on. everything loose. I pulled it. Yep. I'm not gonna That's back awesome. out. Not a sissy like some people. <laughs> <laughs> you came in fast on that roll. Did you just learn backflips like five minutes time. ago? Pretty much. Uh, okay, so okay, you're going okay. faster? Yeah. Felt good. That was just a warm up. Oh my god. Did you hit the brakes at all? No. The tiniest, tiniest. It didn't sound like, like it. I didn't. I didn't grab them and drag them. I just. Oh, that's right. I, forgot. I didn't grab them and drag them. I just let them like rest oh, on it. So, this is the steps to the backflip, right? Looks like I'm on the right track, right? <laughs> Looks like it just wants to happen. I'm not trying it today, guys. I would love to. I really want to. But when I try it in the foam pit, like I'm gonna have neck brace on and everything, because I don't know how it's gonna happen. But I gotta get stronger. Maddie's gotta help me get stronger. We're gonna, I'm gonna be looking yoked up when I come walking in here next time. <laughs> and I'll be good. Number two. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> good. Oh, I did, I did a jump. I actually handled it. Like, I did the right thing. Oh, man, that was cool. I'll tell you what, the first one, though, when I, like, fell on my back, that was kind of fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> Do that one again. Uh, but I pulled it. I didn't slip a foot or anything, out. but... All right, I'm going to try to go for uh, a little bit more speed and just go for some big air see what happens. <laughs> now, he's, now he's just loving it. All right, no, hold back. I'm not... You're not going to see me touch the brake. It's on the grip. Oh my god! No. What? Right? He's got a thumbs up! We yeah. see the thumbs up! <laughs> Get the ball off of him! Oh my god! What? Oh my god! Help! Help! Alright. Just the face! Get the face! Here, yeah, give me your hand. Get the face! <laughs> Yo. Get the face! Like this. Never. You're Corey, making it worse! Try and pick him up. Try and grab his hand. Right. Try and get. Uh, Ready? Mm hmm. Much better. <laughs> That was crazy! <laughs> Yo! Did you or did you not say no backflips yet? <laughs> dude, it wants to happen. What just happened? You went for a freaking backflip, No, dude. I didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> no, I you said- You were a liar. I said I'm not touching the brake. Okay, then and you I probably didn't. should go for a backflip then. <laughs> and I just looped out. Whoa! That was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. That was so Dude, fast. You literally did everybody's first backflip ever attempt. Like, just upside down, bike gone. You know, if you kept your feet on, I'm pretty sure you would have you would have sure made a backflip around. Because you were high as hell. I'm, listen, I know what to do for a backflip. I don't have the strength to do it yet, but I will have the strength to do it. Power to you. That was awesome. Dude, I'm just so glad I'm okay. I mean, I I, I felt like when I'm in the like I'm still making decisions of like, oh I could I can know how to handle this, I know how to fix it. But like when you don't have the the confidence in your ability, like so like I looped out, I'm like, oh my goodness. Yeah. I was like, I felt it happen, I was like, well there goes that. I was just like, this is gonna be a good one. I'm like, please don't land upside down, please don't land upside down. So yeah. I just tried to like hold myself to the butt bomb. Like I, I did 
I did a pretty good job of, of handling the situation, but I now I should have held the brake. You had some clips on. <laughs> Don't even want to think about it. Don't even want to think about We've it. We've got the pedals. You might have gotten the Don't around. even want to think about it. I didn't try to backflip, and it started happening. That's crazy. Dude. Like I I know I can do it. Like this is. That's a prime example. Like the bike, it just started doing it. Like I naturally know I can pull back and it, it'll happen. Like I know it. It's just going to take some time to physically get there. And once I'm ready, I'm going to take the steps to try and land the back in the foam pit. But that was a good first day. I'm glad everything worked out the way it did. I mean, I'm just, I'm just psyched. I'm glad Dude. that we drove six hours to get here that and make amazing. that happen finally. So, Thanks, Dom. either way, guys, that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know I really did. And uh, until next time, remember to subscribe to the channel. Remember to like this video, and I'll see you guys in the back. But, peace. Yeah. The brand new black Can't Slow Down hoodie, minus the blue foam pieces, is up on CanSlowDown.com. You can go into the link in the description of the video. Thank you guys for the support.